Thanks for dropping in. In this video, I go to a whole lot of effort to update a BIOS to swap a budget 4 core 8 thread Ryzen 4300GE for a worse 4 core 4 thread 3200G. I wait a painfully long time for the update to complete, and my grand prize after all that effort is an updated splash screen. In my last video, I messed around with two AM4 PCs that I got off eBay. Lenovo pre-built that had a Ryzen 3200G and a proprietary motherboard in it, and a Xena pre-built that had a Ryzen 4300GE. However, it also used a standard motherboard, being an MSI A520MA Pro. Now, although the 4300GE in the MSI board is the more modern and better chip, four cores and eight threads with a Zen 2 architecture, versus four cores and four threads with a Zen Plus architecture, the iGPU Vega graphics performance is similar, the 3200G having more cores but a slower clock. And with both officially supported by Windows 11, which was my main goal here, being the newer chip and being the 35 watt energy efficient version, the 4300GE still holds some value, around £50 on the second hand market, whereas the 3200G is somewhat below £20. So my plan is to put the 3200G into the standard MSI motherboard, allowing me to sell the 4300G to regain some money and also means I'll be using standard replaceable parts as opposed to the proprietary motherboards. And if you compare the specs, the 3200G will fulfill my needs and other than the four threads and slightly newer architecture for the 4300G, the specifications are similar. So to start off, let's check that the MSI A520A Pro is working fine with its Ryzen 4300G. Yep, all looking good. We can also see that it has a BIOS from the 14th of July 2021, which is only around a year after the A520 chipset was released on August the 18th, 2020. Now, if you check the CPU support list on the MSI website, we can see that this 520 series chipset may not originally support the Zen Plus CPUs. It looks like it may have had support for the 3200G retrospectively added, as it states that it needs the latest beta BIOS. Now that latest beta BIOS was released on the 9th of September 2024. Now even though both BIOSes use the Agisa 1.2.x.x version being 1.2.0.1 and 1.2.0.c, the 3200G won't work with the original BIOS from 2021, according to the table, but will hopefully work when we update to the latest beta BIOS from 2024. But let's first off see if the 3200G works with the original BIOS from 2021. So without updating anything, I switched out the 4300GE. I then opened up the Lenovo pre-built which contains a 3200G and remove that. And after a quick clean, place it into the MSI board. Switch it on. And I was a little bit surprised to see that this Zen Plus CPU was working when the MSI website stated that it needed that latest beta BIOS from 2024. Although as I stated earlier, both were still using the Agisa 1.2.x.x versions. So on that front, it's no great surprise that it works. Oh well, I decided I'd update to the latest BIOS anyway to make sure we have full compatibility and to get any security fixes and other fixes that may have happened in the meantime. So I downloaded the 9th of September 2024 BIOS onto a USB stick, making sure that I selected the correct motherboard as updating to the incorrect BIOS would potentially be bad. Although these days, most motherboards will warn you and not allow you to update if it detects that you're trying to use the wrong BIOS. And then put the USB stick into a USB port, rebooted and entered the BIOS or UEFI. Over on the left is the M flash utility, which causes the system to reboot into that utility. And then select the new BIOS ROM stored on the USB. And after the system double checking that I was sure that I wanted to continue, off it went.
It actually took the longest time to update that I can remember a BIOS taking at 10 minutes and 41 seconds. It's also important to make sure the power is not interrupted during the process as this could break your motherboard. It eventually completed and rebooted itself. And we now have the new BIOS, dated slightly earlier, as this was the actual BIOS creation date rather than the release date, still working fine with my 3200G. So it was then a case of putting on some thermal paste, connecting the cooler properly, and it's ready to go. And there we have it, one updated UEFI BIOS, ready for my cheap Win11 PC. Have you ever had any disasters while updating BIOSes? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks everyone who has subscribed, it's much appreciated. If you are one of the 98% of people watching this who has not yet subscribed, please click subscribe below. Please also leave any comments below. Take care and I'll see you again soon.